Boy, did we really need that momentum against Stoke last week. I mean, they were absolutely terrible, but considering the form that we've been on as well, finally getting our first victory in 2024. But we got a massive one today against the Carrot Crunchers, the Cider Drinkers, whatever you want to call them, uh, Bristol City in the Seven Side Derby. It is the immortal time, probably the latest that we're going to be getting up this for any away day this season, half past eight. And yeah, boy, have we got a tall order today considering A, it's away, and for the last couple of years, we have struggles at Ashton Gate as well. We used to have quite an all right record there as well. And B, because of our form as well, and the fact it's a derby, the players have got to be on the ball as well. Same with injuries, etc. It'd be nice if we can replicate the last result. Ruben Colwell magic. Boy, that goal was absolutely insane. Just absolutely slicing through those two defenders. Aside from that, derby days are back. We've got two derbies this month. Bristol City and the Jacks down West Wales as well on the 16th. So let's do it. Thoughts on today then? Tough game. Wales away. Last week, I think first half we were excellent. Probably the best we've played since like October. Because it's been a very difficult couple of months, hasn't it? Since, well, at home especially, I think it was Millwall prior to that victory last week against Stoke. This one, they're sort of, they're erratic on the, in their form as well. People, I think people say they've been Southampton recently, but they've had some poor results as well. So hopefully we're on top of our game. They have an off day. Hopefully Atete is at it as well. Today, he did, he did all right last week, got his goal, looked, looked okay. So, uh, Deju, <laughs> Turning to his old stomping ground, he's, he needs a goal, doesn't he? Uh, and a, a little bit of uh, probably a few more minutes as well. But we'll see how it goes. Also, thirty-seven pound a ticket. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Disgusting. Should be. Should be charged probably. Yeah, twenty is in the championships, especially when they have got a cap in the Premier League at thirty pounds. So, thirty-seven pound in the championship is just ridiculous. Teams have just come out, quite happy with that to be fair. The Hawthorne and Gold, Enji Kutas, Phillips, Wilson, Esbrand, Ryle, Siopis, Turnbull, Ruben Colwell, Bola, Annie, Tete up front, then Turner, Romeo, Collins, Wintel, Tanner, O'Dowda, Mete, Ashford, and Jeju return into Ashton Gate. Perry Entry! 
So I'm on the bus back and I just remembered that I didn't do a half-time review. So long story short, Cardiff two shots, Bristol two shots, nothing much happened apart from that. Let's go on the second half. Go on, Bowler! There we go! Go on! Oh my god! Ah! No one there, come on! It's la, la, la. We're the greatest team of football the world has ever seen. Tractor! I'm a Bristol City fan, I'm a fucking Away! Away! USA! 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 Oh, Open the ball, it's Swansea's left! Ah, come on, put a shot in for God's sake! Come on! 
Cheerio, cheerio, cheerio. Cheerio, cheerio, cheerio. Cheerio, cheerio. If they saw this now, I swear to God, honestly. Sydney! 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 Right, that's time. This is the last kick of the game. USA! 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 Oh, come on! Come on, ref, it's time to blow up. USA, USA, USA. your away day or whatever you can describe it 1-0 victory Perry NG header goes by the name of Perry NG David Turnbull and it comes absolute scenes in that away end it's got to be up there for one of the best away days we've done that that was incredible and we've ended our losing streak at Ashton Gate as well which is always fantastic to see but yeah, fantastic, fantastic, fantastic payback for them for charging us 57 quid for tickets as well. And I will still go on about it forever, but absolutely fantastic. What do you think? That was phenomenal, wasn't it? 1-0. Okay, this first half wasn't great. I think, was it? NG had a shot in the first half as well, didn't he? He did. Bowler flashed or skied one or flashed over after a bit of, nice bit of play. They had a couple of chances and then in the second half, Okay, we scored and it was, well, the scenes and the limbs, they were, they were everywhere, weren't they? Uh, pyro in the away end and um, chanting, deafening really, wasn't it, in that second half? 
and um, I think we were comfortable. They had a, a bit of pressure, but Horvath in goals was immense, wasn't he? He took everything USA, in the air. Uh, USA, yeah, those chances as well. But phenomenal away day. I think that's back to back wins now. We got Huddersfield on Tuesday, mm -hmm. so. And then we play Swansea, is it, in a couple of weeks' time now? Yeah, so the 16 for I hope we can get tickets for that. So Apparently, I've heard it's five, though, which is quite five annoying. Five days, oh, dear, dear, dear. But if we can uh, if we can win on Tuesday then and follow that up, then it'll be, uh, we'll be on a quite a good run. Well, a very good run for this season anyway. But, uh, yeah, £37 rip-off, but Perry NG has made the weekend, hasn't he? Oh, he absolutely has, and yeah, that's just the cherry on top for us as well. Plus, good news for us as well, which never happens, two away games that we have seen and won in a row. Absolutely fantastic, but yeah, pushing on to Huddersfield. Let's get some momentum and push up the table, hopefully into the top 10, but if you have enjoyed it, please do remember to like, comment, subscribe, do what you can support the channel, that'd be appreciated. Follow the social medias, like the World of Football podcast on Spotify as well. Boy, that's going to be an interesting one on Monday, and I'll see you all next time. Au revoir.